Anna McDaniel doing? Uh, I think she did great when she ran Michigan for me. I think she did okay initially in the RNC. I would say right now uh, there'll probably be some changes made. The RNC should have one goal and one focus, and that is ensuring that the leader of the Republican Party, Donald J. Trump, is elected as the 47th president of the United States, and we are able to save this country. Here's what I can assure you. Any person walking into the doors of the RNC with any other goal in mind will be shown the door if I were elected to this position as coach chair of the RNC. Just like with everything else in the works to centralize Donald Trump's power and access to money, Ronna McDaniel looks like she's on her way out, just in time for him to insert another loyalist and family member in large Trump. They're still not being shy about announcing not only their plans for a hostile takeover of the country, but of the party's fundraising and election strategy to do one thing, screw those other Republican candidates and focus on Trump. What needs to change, and, and, and if you get the job, what can you do? Yeah, well, listen, we need to be playing chess and not checkers, and, and that's exactly what we've been doing, unfortunately. Here's what I can tell you. The RNC needs to be the leanest, most lethal political fighting machine we've ever seen in American history. That is the goal over the next nine and a half months. If I am elected to this position, I can assure you there will not be any more $70,000 or whatever exorbitant amount of money it was spent on flowers. Every single penny will go to the number one and the only job of the RNC. That is electing Donald J. Trump as president of the United States and saving this country. We have no time to waste. We've got to yeah. get to work. We've got a lot of money to raise. And we need to ensure that every penny goes to those things that I just mentioned. Every single penny will go to the number one and only job of the RNC, electing Donald Trump. Despite how disappointed any other Republican that was hoping for some help and support from the RNC may be, they can't be surprised anymore by the way Trump has methodically chipped away at the effectiveness of it for anyone else but him. And Laura Trump is perfectly qualified for the newest directives, considering she's worked out a plan that has funneled nearly $2 million from a dog rescue charity into Donald Trump's pockets for the last seven years. So she can ensure that there'll be no more money wasted on overpriced flowers when that money can go to Trump instead. But what will Ronna McDaniel get for our years of twisting herself into knots to appease Trump? I think whatever happens to Ronna McDaniel, who changed her name from Ronna Romney McDaniel, let's not forget that, uh, despite her claiming Trump didn't insist on it, let's be honest. Uh, this is a woman who has been obsequious to Donald Trump to rise in the party and to be relevant and more powerful than she's ever been in her entire political career. And what has it gotten her? Uh, her loyalty has gotten her knifed by Donald Trump. Uh, as he does with everything. Everything Trump touches dies, as my colleague at Lincoln Project, Rick Wilson, has written a book about. And this is another example. The RNC has been dying and withering on the vine a slow death for quite some time now because Donald Trump wants it to be in the image and likeness of him and his campaign. And Ronna McDaniel, it doesn't matter what happens with all these other things. What they want is Ronna McDaniel out and someone new and in, in their image and likeness more MAGA than she is to run the operation. Extreme loyalists are being inserted into every position of influence and control over money as much as possible for the purpose of serving their leader. McDaniel's major mistake was only working 98% of the time for Trump and drawing a line in the sand with the use of the committee's cash, which sparked the beginning of the end. Let's not forget that the RNC back in 2022 stopped paying Donald Trump's legal bills once he, once he claimed he was running for president and filed. They said, listen, we can't pay your legal bills anymore because they were financing his, his legal bills. Now we know that he spent $50 million of his campaign money paying for his legal bills. So the, they, they, the reason why the RNC is having such difficulty fundraising is because the majority of the people who they, they would go for for money are given their money directly to the Trump campaign. And that's by design. And that's what the Trump campaign wants. So this has been in the making for quite some time. They have been chipping away at the RNC's influence um, in a very non-traditional way for, for a couple of years now so they can fully control it and place someone who they want in there and possibly put in Lara Trump or someone like that as a co-chair.